Forrest went to Pitt on Wednesday and lost 77 72. Struggled in three point shots. They were just six of 22. Opening tip controlled by Syracuse. And look for Wake Forest to really build a wall with him and then try to get the ball out of his hands, keep him from going downhill. We try to get it to Carr for the rim bender for Wake. This just, you know, two things. There was no prey. Salas had it knocked away. This is what Syracuse does, Tom. This is, they're, they're one of the best in the league at stealing the basketball. He had it knocked away by Mintz. Hustles to the basket and no one can get back to stop the jam from Mintz. Mintz is second in the conference in steals and he shows us exactly why right here. They are long and rangy out front. They have active hands and, uh, and uh, he wants them covered. Late in the shot clock for Hildreth. Shook the defender and put it in. Let's see again, look, those are you're going to live with those percentages. One of five now. Fredrickson from the corner. Three ball from the corner pocket. And slide back into the lower half. And Virginia has won six in a row. Then an eight and three in conference play, and it's Williams with a monster jam. Details. Details. <laughs> Car triple teamed. Found Salas. When you're triple teams, a couple people are bound to be open. Good find, though, out of that. Hunter Salas, the open man, and he's got another three-pointer for the Demon Deeks. Their lead is eight. And he's a double-digit scorer, Mike. Almost 13 points per game for number two in orange. They look for Marsh. He's able to grab it and lay it in. Right, they were very fortunate on that play. I and, and they will stay. They're going to jump him with the big guy and get the ball out of his hand. Inside of the jam for Brown. They'll live with that play. Here's the look. I mean, you can you can see Mar uh, Carr was really just extended way out on the floor. Help a little bit late getting there. A good. Mintz tried to anticipate. Miller spins and hits. Cuff working the baseline. Taken away by Hildreth. Up ahead, Monsanto to Salas on the business end of the alley -oop. Great look ahead right here. Just, I mean, the ball just hit the ball and floor one time. Hildreth goes the other way, hangs and scores. Count the bucket and he's going to the line left and uh, this was just a great take goes inside absorbs the contact great finish underneath a game in which they led by 10 points so maybe that's why g-man was wondering how this might turn out as the hustle by taylor it's going to pay off thing and just stop the play deflected by mitts two on one action with copeland and copeland will go in for the double-fisted rim rocker, and Steve Forbes wants a timeout on the wake side. Steal by Mintz, the feed to Copeland for the slam for the Cutes. Okay, part of the full court pressure. Hildred tried to chisel his way through the double, punches it up to Salas. Monsanto unloads for a three. This is, this is a turnover waiting right here. South, the heads up play, the good find right here. Incredible. Starling through some traffic and congestion. Seven points for Starling. And missing five attempts for the Orange. Wake has also made its last four shot attempts. This is Starling right in the face of the defender, Fredrickson. Double digits for Starling and 10 points. Salas chases it down. Carr wants to harvest the three pointer. Wow, he just. Williams. The cutter was Mintz. Gave it to Copeland. Tough shot. TV in the world, but. Carr. Spins it. Tried to adjust in midair. Miller is there to clean it up. At home against Hampton with 14 points, 11 boards, 
and 10 assists. Williams still scrapping on the offensive glass for Benny Williams. Reed. <laughs> He'll back his way in on carry. He can't get any closer. I don't know where he was backing into. <laughs> the market closes in five, four, four minutes and 57 oh, seconds. What, what a defensive play by Carr. Not letting up at all. Miller eyes for the rim. This time he finds Salas. Coach of the year back in 2022 in the ACC. They won 19 games last year, Mike, and this one is going to give them 14 wins. Jam at the other end, flying Chris Bell. What about the field goal percentage, Mike? What's it going to be? 66. It's not going to be good enough. The building record stands at 70.2 for field goal percentage. 99 to 70.